Alrighty. Step one, set your objective. And I hope you've been noticing that the, the team members change in each of these chapters. So here our main players are our decision maker and our domain expert. Now setting an objective can be nuanced. Which of these is the good behavior? Oh, come on, which one is it? The one I'm looking for is it depends. What does it depends on? On the owner, the decision maker. What were you trying to get out of your dog? Do you want a sheepdog or a police dog? Because if you wanted a sheepdog, this is probably not the good behavior. Now, when do, should you be answering this question if you are the dog owner? Yeah, before the training, when the dog is a puppy, maybe even before you got the puppy, you should say, aha, what I'm going for here is a police dog. And yet, for some reason, teams will try to do this much later in the project after algorithms have been done on some data for no particular reason. Now that is just like putting the poor dog in the basement with food and water, leaving it for five years, and then opening up and saying, so how's my sheepdog coming? It is not going to work. Now, you don't need to know how the dog's brain works in order to start training it towards being a sheepdog. You don't even need to know exactly how to do that training to start answering this. The first goal is to say, well, what's the goal? Now that we know we want a sheepdog, once we've made that decision, we can start looking into how to get the sheepdog. The first question is, what are we actually trying to do here? And it's amazing how often this is not the first step when people try to apply machine learning. Things crash and burn when you skip this.